Hey guys, welcome back to Jay-Z Fishing, where today we will be talking about fishing line. Everybody knows the basics of fishing line. It tethers you to the fish. It's your main line, just all you use is what people think. But then there's leader line, there's mono, there's braid, there's different pounds tests. So today, I will be talking all about that and simplifying it for you guys. Okay, so the first thing we'll be talking about is braided line. It's more like a yarn instead of that classic monofilament, which feels more plasticky. Braid is normally thinner and uh, casts better because it's you know smaller, but and it's stronger. But it is a little bit less abrasion resistant. Uh, it's harder to tie. It's just more of a pain. Um, it doesn't require as much maintenance though, so braid is normally a good way to start. Monofilament is the other side. It's that more classic fishing line that's plasticky and basically everybody grows up with that kind of fishing line. Another common myth that people normally hear is that the pound test line that you've got is the amount of pound test strength you've got against that fish. But keep in mind, it's not just the line that's connecting you to the fish. It might be the line that's connecting you to the thing that's connecting you to the fish, but there could be swivels, there could be weights, there could be hooks, there could be other leaders. You have to take the lowest of those, and that's the amount of pound test that's connecting you to the fish. Do not think that just because you're using a 50 pound main line and a 30 pound swivel that you can get 50 pounds of force on that fish. That is a myth and do not think that. You might be overwhelmed and go to into a tackle shop looking to buy your first spool of line. Or maybe you're buying your second one because the tackle shop already rigged it up for you your first time. But that doesn't matter. Just know that if you're ever feeling over overwhelmed, just think common sense. If I need, if I'm fighting a 20 pound fish, you're probably going to need like 15 pounds of test. Then think, well, how leader shy is this fish? Then think, well, is it in clear water or murky water? If it's in murky water, go for a higher pound test. Just take a deep breath, calm yourself, make a logical choice, and it'll work out. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We're well on our way to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. On that note, if we do reach 500 subscribers by the end of this year, we will do another giveaway. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. It helps us out a lot. Any of the stuff that was mentioned in this video will be down in the description below. All of the stuff we used to record and uh, used to fish will be in the description. If you use any of those links, we get a cut of it. It doesn't add anything to you guys, it just helps support our channel. If you guys want to do us a solid, go down there. If you guys want to see us make our brand of merch, let us know in the comment section below. We would gladly do that. If there's any videos that you guys want to see, also let us know down in the comment section below. See you guys.